very special day. And maybe I say that a lot. But today's another special day because today we are gonna decide which wedding venue we are gonna choose for our wedding. It's gonna be a wedding venue showdown. Basically gonna see two wedding venues on the same day, which actually doesn't sound like a lot, but it is a lot because each meeting takes about like three, almost four hours. So we're gonna get some quotes. We're gonna have them battle against each other. So right now we're in a taxi. We're on our way to our first location. We're almost there. I'll see you in a bit. You excited, babe? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm excited. We woke up early. We did. We woke up like 6.30. It's too early. Hi, guys. Akasaka Applause Guest House located right next to Akasaka Station. It's basically a guest house that looks like a mansion. It's in the middle of the city, but it's surrounded by all this greenery. So it doesn't even feel like you're in the city. You don't feel like you're in Tokyo. You are in another world, maybe a Gatsby-esque type of world. Now, what I think is really interesting is that outdoor weddings are not that popular in Japan, most likely because of hay fever, typhoons, unbearably hot weather. Yeah, I think you get it. They're not that popular. So it was really important for Yuji and I to have a wedding venue that had a nice balance of indoor and outdoor aesthetics. So when we first made the appointment to see the wedding venue, Yuji requested for somebody who could speak English. I really wanted to be included in the planning process of my wedding. So this was something that, as you can imagine, was really, really important for me. The wedding venue kindly accommodated to our request. So the venue didn't have an abundance of English speaking staff, but what was really cool is that the manager of the venue ended up helping Yuji and I. The manager doesn't usually help out prospective clients, but he took time out of his busy schedule to help Yuji and I, and we were just so grateful for that. We were shown the chapel, the beautiful outdoor area, the reception hall. So we also had some really good appetizers and handcrafted drinks. And after all that, we were guided back to the meeting area where they even prepared us more food. Okay, so we've been served our food. And what did he say, babe? How do we eat this? Um, take this, the flower petals yeah. and then mix it with the jelly. Okay. At the bottom. And what is it? It's fish. Yeah. Sashimi? Sashimi fish, flavored jelly. What flavored jelly? I don't know. All right, let's try it. Let's mix it. Good? What does it taste like? Fish. <laughs> I got served this salmon. Sashimi? It's, yeah, it's salmon. But is it sashimi? Yeah, it's small. Mm, no, I don't like it. I think you can eat the flour, can't you? Yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> We're not yeah. classy at all. <laughs> Okay, so we've been waiting for quite a while right now. I'm like recording like this, but um, yeah, because uh, if you ever do come to any of these uh, wedding venue visitations where you come see the venue and you get a quote, just be prepared to stay here for a really long time, okay? We've been here already for three hours and we're probably going to stay another hour. Um, we had our food and we've just been waiting and he, they also brought me a dress catalog because the package does include a wedding dress. So we're just waiting and he's working on a quote for us and hopefully we get a good price. So he'll be back soon. We'll look at the top and then we're probably going to go to the next venue and see what they have to say. 
Okay, so we finished with the first venue. They did an amazing job. They gave us a really reasonable quote. But we have this other appointment already set up, already scheduled, and we didn't really want to cancel it and be rude. Well, to be honest, we didn't want to cancel it because we get a 6,000 yen Amazon gift card. So it's like $60. This is our next wedding venue, you guys. Who lives in I don't know. Nobody. Nobody. Mosu does. <laughs> So we just got to the second venue, we're a little bit early because we got bored and we decided to come early. So they took us in and Yuji's just filling out every... <laughs> You're such an expert at filling out these forms now. No. Uh, so he's filling out this questionnaire that they ask us to do every time we go to any wedding venue, um, which are some standard questions, name, address, blah, blah, blah. What is your ideal wedding look like? What would be like the concept? Is it more natural? Is it more classic? Like, is it fun? So they have some questions like that. And what's most important to us? Like, is food the most important thing? Or is entertainment the most important thing? So just a lot of questions like that. Unfortunately, Yuji has that job of filling it out because it has to all be in Japanese. Thanks, love. Mm -hmm. As I think they have another wedding going on right now. So they meet with us at on a separate side of the building that so that way we don't interfere with the wedding guests and the wedding party they showed us the banquet area where like the seating is but um, they said we couldn't take pictures so I can't show you guys So here is Azabu Gehinkan or Azabu State Guest House and yes unfortunately they wouldn't let me record they had another wedding going on and apparently I wasn't allowed to film anything not even the ground I was walking on but I thought I'd brief you a little bit about the wedding venue because it is a gorgeous wedding venue. So this is the entrance. Beautiful, inviting, elegant, and apparently one of these trees is a cherry blossom tree, which only adds to the aesthetics. This is the garden. It's small, cozy, it neighbors the banquet hall area, and it's about the same size as the previous venue's garden area. The banquet hall was recently remodeled and now connects to an open kitchen so guests can actually see what the chef is preparing as he's making it. And this is the chapel, which I did not fancy at all. It was dark, the ceiling was low, and it was giving me major Catholic school day vibes. Now to each their own, but for Yuki and I, this did not fit what we were picturing. The venue, however, did let me record the delicious meal that they prepared for us, and it was so good. Besides that, all I can say about the venue is that the service was top quality, the representative who was helping us spoke perfect English, and I was pretty satisfied with my overall experience at Azabu Gehinkan. So I really wanted to show you guys more than one wedding venue today. So let's rewind a little bit back to summertime. And I want to show you another wedding venue I saw that ironically enough was right next to Azabu Gehinkan. And this wedding venue is called Palazzo Ducale Azabu. I'm so sorry if I butchered that. Today I'm in Roppongi. I'm so excited to go see this venue which is Palazzo Azabu. Is that how you say it? Palazzo Azabu? Palazzo Ducale. Oh. Palazzo Ducare, which is um, a venue I have been scoping out for quite a bit now. We're meeting up with our wedding coordinator right now. Looking like Casper over oh, here. there it is. I see a person. Oh, uh, there's our person. Yeah. Anyways, we're going to meet up with our wedding producer now, so it should be fun. Okay, right. gotta go. So our wedding producer guided us to the outdoor terrace area that was connected to one of the banquet halls. And this was the major turnoff for me, those balloons. Apparently in Japan, it's really popular to release balloons into the air during weddings, which is something I'm not about. Hello, environmentally friendly much? But besides that, the outdoor terrace area was really lovely. They had a photo booth and then we were guided into the reception hall. So the wedding venue has two reception halls. This reception hall, which is connected to the terrace, is designed for a smaller party. Now this is the other recently renovated reception hall. It is designed for up to 100 guests. I really love the archways, the fairy lights cascading from the ceiling. But for me, I found this reception area a little bit dark for my taste. From there, we were guided to the rooftop of the building. This is one of the venue's main selling points, which is the Terrace Garden Rooftop Chapel. Eugene and I instantly fell in love with the outdoors environment, all while being surrounded by skyscrapers. It was truly stunning. 
But of course we had to consider what if it rains? What is our alternative? And this was it. What can I say? It definitely didn't have the same impact as the outdoor terrace chapel. After that, we were served some food and truth be told, it wasn't that memorable. Overall, the venue is very lovely. There were some things I was unsatisfied with, such as balloons being released into the air, mediocre food being served to us, as well as some mediocre customer service as well. If you guys want to know which wedding venue Yuji and I chose, then please stay tuned because I'll be showing you guys a lot more as my wedding day approaches. I can't wait to share the final product with you guys and thank you so much for watching and all your recent support. Lots of love and au revoir! Okay, 1 to 10, what would you give it? 9. 9? And one word? Good. <laughs> your vocabulary, my one word. One word is... Oh, melt. It melts. You can't do it.